What is up fam? It is Shar and welcome to Long Living Color, where I provide quick tips and experiences on the law school process and legal field as a person of color. So as I come to an end with my summer, I thought it might be worthwhile to explain some of my summer experiences and what it's like to be a summer associate for a firm. So I think the first thing is that you have to get adjusted to the amount of networking that you're doing whether that's talking to attorneys, um, just casually by the water cooler, so to speak, or actually attending events that the firm um, holds for summer associates to get to know the attorneys. You will have a lot of those events. You will see attorneys every day, all day. So you will start to need to learn how to adjust, whether that's, you know, increasing your social battery in some way. You may do that when by like, you know, when you come home instead of, doing a million things and you just sit down for 20 minutes. Maybe you just go on TikTok for 20 minutes or maybe you go to the gym afterwards. Whatever kind of increases the likelihood of having a, so, a social battery for the next day, that's what you should just kind of wrap your mind around uh, before starting uh, your summer. Also what I've learned summering is to have a running list of attorneys that you connect with the most. Good to have a running list of attorneys regardless. I feel like you meet so many attorneys that it's kind of hard to keep track of who you've met. You should be aware that over the course of the summer, there's going to be events that you're expected to be at. So just keep that in mind when you are trying to make plans for your summer. The summer, being a summer associate doesn't last your entire summer. It lasts around nine to 12 weeks, if that long, um, but typically nine, 10 weeks. So you have a good amount of your summer to yourself. So it's not like the whole summer you're working for a firm and you have to do these events and you don't have any time to like hang out with family and friends when you're in town. I learned to be vocal. Use the flexibility that you have now. Use the learning curve that you have now. You have a huge learning curve. You're not expected to do a lot of what you're given in the sense that, you know, no one's having high expectations of you. They understand that you haven't done this before, that you know you still have to take the bar, and that even when you come on, you still have this huge learning curve. Take advantage of the learning curve. Ask questions, be overly communicative. There's no wrong question at this stage. I also learned my time being summer associate to like basic etiquette skills. I feel like I was raised with basic etiquette skills, but then you know there's like situations where I feel like, okay, a, a key one, for me that I've learned is like, you don't tend to order something that's more expensive than what the partner that's taking you out orders. So if they're, to, like, or whatever attorney is taking you out to order. So like if an attorney takes you out and they're ordering something that's within like a sandwich range or like a salad range price point, that's typically what I'll order. Like, yeah, they might have salmon on the menu and I have steak on the menu. I'm not gonna go crazy and have a full $50 meal when the attorney taking me out has having a $15 meal. Make sure you're keeping eye, eye contact when speaking with people, keeping your elbows off the table, just very simple things. Every summer associate position I've held, I learned that I need to save as much money as possible. So I don't even see parts of my check. Uh, parts of my check go straight to my savings account. So I don't see that money, it just goes. Um, so I get a fraction of what I'm actually making to spend and that really helps me spend less while also saving more. Saving this money is gonna be very helpful for you when you are graduating because you'll have money left over for when you're studying for the bar because be mindful, you're not gonna be getting paid. Um, you can ask for an advance from your firm. Again, this is firm dependent, but um, typically you can ask for an advance. Why do that when you can live off of your savings for a little bit? Lastly, I this summer I had the opportunity to do a lot of substantive work, which was a lot of work. Uh, but I've learned a lot from it. I've learned a lot of what my interests align with, with the work that I've done. I think the work will let, really lets you know what you will be doing. It gives you like a little bit of a picture of like what you will be doing full time, but it'll also show you what you're interested in. Maybe you're not interested in, in finance like you thought you were. Maybe you're not interested in, in litigation like you thought you were. So it's, it's important to get the work under your belt, um, to get comfortable with it, to know what it is, what it's like. So all of this experience is from my own experience. Everyone's experience is different based off of the firm they go to, based off of what 
their summer associateship looks like. Some people clerk for their summers. Some people work for public interest, for the government for their summers. So all of their experiences are very different. So this shouldn't be taken holistically by any means. It should be more so understood from just my perspective. I do hope to have some people on here that can speak more to their experiences that differ from um, having a summer associate with a firm that they were able to like do other things and what their experiences were like and how to navigate that. But this is my experience. So please take it with a grain of salt. Peace guys.